Good morning guys, we are on the last day, last morning. I'm gonna pack up this morning, get everything ready to go. Do a gym session upstairs in my gym, um, do a bit of editing, do a bit of work, and then we'll be leaving here at one. My flight's at 4.50, so hopefully it shouldn't be too rushed. And it is a night flight, so I arrive back in the UK at like 8 a.m. So hopefully, yeah, it'll work out quite well with the timings and things. But I'm really, I feel like bereft today. <laughs> I'm really sad to be leaving. Um, so I'll definitely be back later in the year. And yeah, we're just gonna have a super productive summer getting things done, getting prep going. And it will be exciting, it will be really exciting. Final cheers of this trip. Got my last coffee from 7-Eleven. Yesterday I actually had a coffee dilemma, so I got a coffee at 5am. I walked into the building and I tripped over. My flip-flop got like stuck underneath the door as I was walking in. And there's a reception person or security reception person. And it just went everywhere and I felt so bad, like, oh my gosh, I felt so terrible about the situation. Yeah, thankfully that didn't happen today. I was very, very secure with my handling of the coffee. So yeah, we're going to crack on with a bit of journaling actually, and then editing of a video I've just filmed. And yeah, it was going to be a good morning. It will be a good last morning. Go to my favourite breakfast spot, sort out my taxi. I packed up most of my suitcase. Just because I thought if I can get that done first thing while it's still dark, then I may as well do that. And I think I'm going to go to the beach and do a little bit of handstand stretching. And then I'll come back, do a bit of a cardio session, and then probably head for breakfast. I filmed this a video already for my patrons, so that's perfect. And yeah, it's kind of sad. I feel so sad. Um, what I always end up doing is whenever I... <laughs> and I go to a new location and I finish my journal, I just throw it away. I don't know why, maybe I should keep it, but I kind of feel like it's the end of, not an era, but an, at the end of a good kind of bit of my journey. So, it's gone, it's gone. Yeah. I'll film my little handstand yogi thing on the beach. So I thought I'd come to my rooftop instead because it's a lot less sandy and actually it's so much better for stretching and handstands. I tried to do handstands actually um, by the beach the other day. Look at the views, they're so pretty. You can actually see the sea over there. You can see the sun there, so. In the distance, you can't see it. <laughs> We're pretty much there, pretty much packed up. I've just got to put my laptop in my bag. Taxi is coming to collect me in about five, ten minutes. And then we're going to the airport for the long journey. Um, the flight should be around, I think it's eight or maybe nine hours. And then I'll probably be waiting at the airport for a couple of hours 
and then hopefully home on time. So guys, the funniest thing is that so I'm going to go and get my coffee and they may be bright rice. <laughs> but they were cooling my coffee um, when I was using the view. <laughs> they were saying so I think that's my coffee. Anyway. Yes, I just got back to the UK and my dad picked me up from the airport we went back to my parents' house very briefly because my dad had a work call and my mum took me back um, to my flat and I have a parcel so I have a Halara parcel I think it's three sports dresses so I will do a try on later which is very exciting look at my poor plant I love my tropical plant and my parents actually came to water it a couple of times but it's yeah hopefully it will revitalise we'll soon find out I also just picked up a couple of things from the supermarket on the way back because I basically just want to have something very quick to eat. I'm just going to eat this. Protein bar. I've never had one of these before. Cookie dough flavour. It's quite nice. And then I got chicken. Oats my parents gave me because they didn't want those ones. Um, rice. Mushrooms. This isn't by any means a full shop. I just picked up a couple of things. Sushi. I'll probably have that later. Just for ease. Another protein bar. Because I was intrigued. It's a peanut butter flavour one. So we'll give that a go. Some lemons. Beetroot. Because if you know, before I went to Mexico, beetroot was life. And then some almond milk. So not a lot really, but just a couple of provisions to keep me going for today. And yeah, I just basically want to unpack a couple of things. Wait for my phone to charge and then I'm going to head straight to the gym, I think. So say, guys, this protein bar... Cookie day flavour. Very, very good. So I normally get the grenade bars and if you've been following me a while, I literally love the salted caramel and cookie dough grenade bars. It's no mess for that. <laughs> mm. Problem with this is very sticky in the teeth. Mm. Anyway, that bar is one pound, I think it was nine pence. Normally the grenade bars are like 2 50 if they're on offer or three pounds. I would say that's basically better. It tastes just as good if not better. Oh my god guys, I've just gone to pick up my face. There was so many letters. They're not gonna be good. When I was younger I used to love getting letters. Now I don't because it's always just like a bill. I've got a, I've got a card. I'm not gonna change my address. <laughs> I've got a card which would be nice. Um, but the rest, I think, are just going to be bills. So I am filming another leg session. I started off today with hamstring curls, fairly light, just to warm up. I was actually going to do the adductor, abductor, but that wasn't free, so that's why I actually did hamstring curl instead. Um, and I decided I'd make it into a hamstring glute-focused session. I actually start my new training programme tomorrow, but I wasn't quite sure what the first programme day was. So I kind of just carried on with my push-pull legs routine and yeah that's why today was a leg session i did two sets of warm-up on the hamstring curl then i actually moved on to glute or hip thrusts on the glute builder this is like my favorite machine i started off with a warm-up set so fairly light to begin with just focusing on squeezing contracting the glutes at the top also getting that hamstring connection um, I actually find this has been such a good exercise to help grow my glutes and my hamstrings. My hamstrings definitely lag behind. Um, I think they really have been coming along the last, I guess, six months or so. Then I moved on to another warm-up set. So I think I actually did two sets at this weight um, before going to my final weight so focusing on squeezing and pausing for a second at the top, nice and slow on the eccentric lower down phase of the movement. And I think I managed to do about eight to 10 reps at this weight. Then my final set I actually did at 120 kg and I did one working set and then I did one drop set where I did I think six reps at 120 and then six reps at 100 kg. So this is the drop set that I'm doing now. It's always a little bit difficult to try and sort out the pad so it doesn't hurt the hips when you're doing this glute builder exercise. 
So again, I'm focusing on that time and tension of the exercise, really controlled movements, driving up at the hips, squeezing for a second at the top, slowly on the lower down the exercise. And you'll see as I get to the sixth rep, it's fairly difficult. To be honest, I probably could lift the hips a little bit higher in this exercise, but I was struggling um, just with the weight on that exercise. And then I took the weights off, the 10s off each side, and I just dropped down to 100 kg. Once I'd taken the weights off, I did do, I think it was another six reps at 100 kg. This is where it's actually an advantage having a training partner, just because it's a little bit quicker, a little bit easier to take the weights off. And obviously that's beneficial when you're doing your drop set, trying to go straight from a slightly heavier weight, straight into a slightly lighter weight to finish off that set. So I'm focusing on the same control in the set, squeezing the glutes at the top of the movement. And then, yeah, the last rep, pretty much finished. Then I moved into a single leg leg press. This is actually, again, a really good exercise for the glutes and the hamstrings. Um, I actually find this quite challenging. This was a warm up set, so 20 on each side. And then I actually moved into a further two sets at 30 on each side. I didn't actually film the 30 on each side, I just thought it was maybe a little bit boring to watch too many of these. Um, but yeah, I did, as I said, do a further two sets of this exercise. Actually, you can see my hamstrings working quite well with these. Then I moved into my favourite exercise, my favourite worst exercise, split squats. Again, I did three sets of these. I started off at 40 kg, and then I actually moved on to my working sets at 50 kg. My legs are really starting to shake actually at 40 kg. I think where I'd already done the leg press and the glute bridge or the hip thrust, I was a little bit fatigued in the glutes. Um, and this exercise really does work all around the legs, the glutes, the hamstrings, the quads. So I do also really like to do front foot elevated split squats. I find, again, that works really well and you can just get a little bit more depth with that back leg going all the way down to the ground. But today I did just stick to normal split squats on the floor. Um, then I moved into another set. This time I was doing 50 kg. So again, as you can see, I'm going slow with the tempo as I'm lowering down to the ground. And I'm actually focusing on really contracting the quads and the hamstrings as I'm lowering down. My legs are getting a little bit shaky. <laughs> as the sets go on, they definitely do get more shaky in this exercise. After the split squats, I did actually do adductor and abductor, and I did leg curl, seated leg curl. Um, but I didn't film those exercises just because the angles weren't very good, and that area was a little bit busy. And it's quite difficult sometimes to film machines like that. So the last exercise I did film was calves. I don't normally film calves, actually. Um, but I'm definitely trying to incorporate calves a little bit more into my training as you can see I've got really good contraction actually in the calves on these exercises and I did two sets at fairly low weight today I think it was 21 kg and then the final set I did do a drop set I actually did do two drop sets I think because I was finding the weight a little bit heavy on the second set 21 kg. I know it shouldn't have really been heavy, but it did feel quite heavy. <laughs> then I moved on to my final set. This is definitely my favourite calf machine. Um, there is ob obviously seated, or you could use a Smith machine and put a bench underneath or um, a step underneath. But actually, this machine is just gold dust if you've got it in your gym. And then I'm just dropping the weight again. I think it dropped down to about 11 or 12 kg in the end. The 
back from leg session. I also grabbed a coffee because I was so tired and I got some eggs. I put them away now and a roll <laughs> because I'll probably have them at some point today. I'm gonna eat this sushi now. I got client called in like 30 minutes and I decided what I've got to do with that post. I got bills to pay. So I need to start doing that. <laughs> so much to sort through. Um, and then I'm gonna edit this video and probably end this vlog but I remember what I was gonna say so the flight back guys traumatic it was very traumatic basically I was sat I like being in an aisle seat because I get up a lot I go to the toilet I get up I have a little walk have a little wonder but I couldn't because I was squished between like two well one quite big guy one like normal size guy and I was just sat there like oh my god it's this I've got no room <laughs> um so yeah I wouldn't recommend flying with Chewy there's literally no leg room Food wasn't the best, to be honest. It was okay, it wasn't the best. Um, but it got us back, it got us back, it did the job. Um, I'm just a little bit tired, to be honest. I don't really know how I'm functioning on like, maybe an hour of sleep on the plane. But we power through. So yeah, I'm gonna edit this video, have my client call, and then that'll be it already for today. So hope you guys have enjoyed that little vlog.